What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's a chick coming at you with another World of Warcraft Season of Discovery guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to solo Scarlet Monastery Graveyard trash on your hunter to level up pretty quickly. But before we get started, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so you get notified every time we get a new video. And um, today's video is sponsored by me. Yeah, so if you guys didn't pay attention, I have merch. In the shop now, check it out. Well, my face on a shirt, yeah, a little blur because I moved too quick. But you can get hoodies, you can get aprons, you can get mugs, you can get basically whatever you want. So, check out the shop. See if there's anything in there you want to check out. Help out your boy. Anyway, let's hop right into it. So, first things first, you're going to want to clear these first two mobs so you can be able to get close enough to the door and then be able to invisibility pot through to the next area there. So, first thing you're going to do is take these two guys out and then you're going to dismiss your pet and then you are going to invisibility pot through the next room. It's going to give you a little bit of extra XP from these two mobs, and then you're going to be able to go into the next room and start doing the pulls and doing the clears. In this video, I show you guys kind of how to clear using the haunting phantasms at first and taking them out first because they make it a little more difficult, but later on you'll get to where you don't need to. I was learning when I was making this video, so made it a little easier. First thing you need to make sure you do and that you know is that you have explosive shot that is the most important thing because that's going to be how you can start doing this at level 30 and then once you hit level level 34 you are going to be able to use explosive trap as well once you can use explosive trap as well it just speeds it up a lot and you'll be good to go so let's just let this play through and then i will pick back up in just a second All right, so then you're going to cast Eyes of the Beast. You're going to run around, and something I would highly recommend doing is setting keybinds to make it where you manually make them sprint, and you use claw manually because the aggro pulse only happens once every five seconds, which means just walking past the mobs, you're not always going to get aggroed, right? So that right there is an example of if your pet ripping pepperonis, just go ahead and feign death, resummon him, and do it again. So you go ahead and you hit the eyes of the beast again, you sprint. I would recommend saving sprint until right before you hit the mobs. Make sure you're jumping and turning so you don't get dazed, because when you get dazed, that's going to be the problem, right? Getting days is going to make it tough. So you're going to get over here. You're going to make this jump up. Now, when you're a lower level like this, that first mob right there, it could be any of the three mob types, is probably going to aggro to you. So you don't really have to go smack it every time, but once they're green, you will. Make sure you aggro them, and then you sprint. You run over. My two pennies is make sure that you are on this side as close to the wall as possible before either your pet dies or your eyes of the beast run out because you want to have as much time as possible to get your hunter to the reset spot so you can get back and forth right so now you take your hunter you pop on to aspect of the cheetah and you bolt because you need to get over to the reset spot when they're coming at you you make sure you're running over here. You got to run up and you need to make sure you're making that jump. And then you switch over to Viper. So you can make sure that you are going to be having all the mana. Want to make sure they're slowed. Shoot your explosive shot if you have it. Shoot your explosive trap if you have it, I mean. And start shooting your explosive shot. If you did not clear out the haunting phantasms first... You want to make sure that's what you're focusing because they are going to be making the extra mobs. And then you just do this forever. You jump back and forth, get your XP, that's it. So if the illusionary phantasms are getting closer to you like that, you can make sure that you are doing what you need to be doing to take them out, right? 
Otherwise, don't worry about it. Um, you can take them out with explosive trap, but taking them out with explosive shot does not work. Multi-shot works. Any direct damage will take them out, right? So let me let this play for you for a bit, and you can see how to do this. Just keep practicing the jump, keep practicing doing some damage. We're, we're just hoping at this point that it is uh, easy enough to do these things. Um, obviously, we do not want them to get too close to us on that side because they will start casting. We don't want them to get too close to us on either side because they will start casting. We don't want them to do that. Yep, see, there he is. He's casting a phantasm, which realistically is fine. It's just a little bit annoying. He's the only mob up now? Yeah, yeah, right? So, after you've juggled the mobs back and forth, taken everything out, walked around, did everything you needed to do, here I think I might still be in combat, but I don't think so. Anyway, you just loot up, and then you make sure you got everything you need, and if you did not pull the entire dungeon, which you're not always going to be able to pull the entire dungeon, because you are definitely limited by the amount of health and stuff that your pet has so don't think you're going to come in here and one pull this thing every time it took me a while to be able to do it in one pull it took me a long time to be able to do it in two pulls what i would suggest doing is doing it in three pulls to start pull one side then pull the other side and then pull the catacombs but that being said that's that's it guys in a nutshell you just rinse and repeat it's going to take some practice you're going to get frustrated but you're going to be able to do it you're going to make some gold you're going to be able to get everything you needed to do it's going to be knocking it out guys anyway if you're still here don't forget to check out the merch shop make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one